I'm always doing the most. Finish my cup and reload. Let it swing right back. Let it swing right back. Back, back. Hey you guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video I'm going to be creating this gorgeous set and yeah, I'm just so excited to get to it. So I hope you guys enjoy watching. I'm starting off with the easy tips. I've already applied these to my practice hand. Also I want to let you guys know that we did restock the practice hands so if you were waiting on those because I know lots of you guys were head over to my website now and check them out. I'll link the practice hand kind of section in the description box so you can head straight there if you want to. So I'm coming in with the nail tip cutters and I'm just trimming these down to a short, I kind of want to say a coffin shape but it's more of a square, slightly tapered since it comes in a little bit. So yeah, we're just cutting them pretty, pretty short slash medium. Um, I know that these are long to some people as well, which is cool. Um, but yeah, now that we've cut them short, I can come in with my crystal clear acrylic and apply my clear base. I always like to apply a clear base. First off, it gives a really nice even work surface. So when you are creating your design, you don't have anywhere that's going to kind of gather any product or any lines that are going to make an issue if you didn't blend your tips because it's not something that I always do blending tips um, so by applying the clear base it kind of helps just to make it all even um, but I'm also doing it to make sure that the um, product adheres to the nail completely but also if you were working on a live client of course this is a practice hand but if you were working on a live client or model then if they come back for a fill or a design change, it's simply file back down to the clear layer, infill with clear and then do your redesign and it makes it super, super easy. So for this nail set, I wanted to focus on some really zesty kind of summery colours. I chose pink, kind of an orangey coral and a zesty lime green. These are our duo marble powders, which means that they kind of marble into the pastel version and white in one bead, if that makes sense. Hopefully you guys can see when I do the marble nail a little bit more. But if you use them super wet and blend them, you can use them as a solid colour as well. So I'm just using candy pink and then over the top of that I'm coming in with pink fizz which is a pre-mixed glitter acrylic. It's absolutely gorgeous. I always like to just add a base of colour underneath just to really make that glitter pop because it is still kind of an iridescent colour. Um, so not super opaque but it's absolutely gorgeous. Moving on to the next nail, I'm going to be using Nude Attitude as my base cover powder for this whole set, so I'm just getting that ready and open. I'm going to come in first with Nude Attitude at the cuticle. I'm using quite a medium to large bead. As you can see, it's filled the whole space of the nail bed, and with the cons consistency that I've applied the product, I'm able to move it around without the product kind of, you know, slipping off the nail, filling the side walls and all of that. Getting your product ratio down is really, really key in working with it effortlessly, I suppose you could say, and easily. Um, nail make powders are absolutely amazing. You will love them. If you haven't already tried them, you should definitely check them out. So with this acrylic, I'm going to come in and as you can see, I'm sculpting that nail bed 
area. I'm using my acrylic brush with the belly part and I'm kind of swooping it around and really trying to refine that line and make it as smooth and as even as possible so that when I come in with my nail file it's going to be easy work. I've just literally got to you know skim it a pass there and it's going to be super refined without a lot of work. For this next nail I'm going to come in and I'm allowing that other, um, the nude attitude nail bed to set whilst I move on to the next nail because I need to file between each layer. So for the middle nail I'm coming in with my Julie Candy Pink, Candy Pink? Yeah, Candy Pink and Sour Apple Duo Marble Powders. I'm placing those on the nail and then I'm gently marbling them together. I'm not marbling them too much because I don't want to kind of make a dirty colour on the nail or kind of merge them together too much where you can't see each kind of separate colour in there. So just a little bit of marbling going on, a very light hand, using the product kind of wet so that it's easily moved about. And then once I've done that halfway up the nail, I'm just going to fizzle that light, the, the kind of blend line out, as you saw there, flipped my brush around, blended it up the nail just so it's not a super harsh line. And then I can come in with the Nude Attitude Cover Acrylic Powder, apply that to the nail bed and blend it over my marble. And I just absolutely love how gorgeous our core powders work and how easily they just blend with so little effort. I'm just making sure it's neat and tidy around the cuticle and then literally pulling down the nail and that is it. It looks bomb. Absolutely love it. So yeah, that is the marble nail and it's time to move on to the next one. So the next one I'm going to be doing the same as the pinky, just to tie the whole set in, make it look super cute. I'm only doing four fingers on this tutorial, but for the thumb, you could either go ahead and do another marble nail, or you could do a, another one of the colour block nails to, you know, continue the set. Just if anyone was wanting to recreate this look. So I'm coming in with Candy Pink as the base, just as a nice wash. And then I'm using Pink Fizz Glitter Acrylic over the top, doing a full nail of that, keeping it nice and thin. Our powders are created with the consistency that you only need a little bit to get maximum coverage. You don't have to keep layering them and making them super thick to get the opaqueness or the coverage that you need, which I absolutely love. Um, so if you are struggling with keeping your nails nice and thin, maybe try out our powders. They could help you out in that sense since they can be worked with super thinly to create really vibrant and fabulous looks. So now that I've finished that nail, I can go back to my colour blocking nail since that section has set nicely. And I'm just going to come in with my 100, 180 grit file and refine the edge. Make sure it's nice and flat and then we can come in with our next colour. So I'm using Sour Apple, which is a duo marble powder. I'm applying it so that the darker side goes towards the kind of wall of the acrylic. And then I'm smooshing it up the nail and down the nail. I'm allowing it to kind of mattify just ever so slightly and become a little bit more pliable to the point where it's not lifting back up with my brush. And then I can come in, shape that, move it around to where I want it and repeat the same process. Next it's time to come in and encapsulate all of the other nails whilst I'm waiting for the colour block to set. 
it's pointless just waiting around so if you're doing somebody's nails you don't want to have time where you're kind of not doing anything so you need to work it so that you know once you're doing one nail you can work on the other if that needs to set you can do the other nail and obviously you're going to be doing two hands so it kind of works out fine anyway but just a tip that i always found really helpful with timings was just to not be kind of sat waiting for things to dry always make sure you're doing something whether it's encapsulating um, preparing the next nail filing cleansing tidying whatever you need to do just get it done you know what i'm saying So I'm following that same process again now that this sour apple green acrylic has set and I'm just coming in with my file to smooth that down. Now that I've finished filing that area I'm coming in with candy pink and applying that to the rest of the nail that's left and making sure to butt it right up to the green acrylic and keep it as in line as possible and not kind of make it bulky that way i don't have to do lots and lots of filing So this is how the nails are looking at the minute. I'm just gonna go ahead and file these off of camera and then I'll share the look with you guys and we can top coat them as well. So we're gonna come in with the Nailmate Super Gloss Top Coat and top coat all of these nails, curing them in the light for a full 60 seconds and then let's get some close up shots. So guys, this is the final look. I really hope you love how it turned out. I hope you love how cute these nails are. Perfect for your summer holiday or just generally through the summertime. Hope you guys enjoyed watching. Thank you so much. And as always, please remember that you are bomb.com. Lit as fuck. And don't ever let anybody tell you any different because you've got this and I love you. Bye.